Have you tried to gaze some stars one night? Ever since we lift our heads in the sky, we truly marvel of the nature of the stars. Sometimes we wonder what they are actually made of, what are they look like, and lastly, we really wonder if they could truly grant our wish. Good morning. This is Christian Soriano of Perpetua Arts San Diego Elementary School, and I want you to join me and venture this lesson, The Characteristics of Stars. Before anything else, I am inviting you to play a sort of game which we can call a fact or a fake. It is somewhat similar to the game that we have previously watched in television. Again, I'll just test if you really know about the stars is a fact or a fake. Let's join me. This is the first one. Stars are balls of hot gases. Is it a fact or a fake? You can type your answer on the comment box below. Okay, stars are moles of hot gases. It is a fact. Let's have the next one. A star, just like our sun, gives off heat and light. Is it a fact or a fake? You can type your answer now. Yes, it is a fact. The next one, stars appear small because they are actually small. Is it a fact or a fake? Can I have your answer? All right, it is a fake. Not all stars are the same in sizes. Let's move on. The sun is the closest star to our planet. Is it a fact or a fake? Write your answer in the comment box. Yes, it is a fact or a well-known fact that the sun is the closest star to our planet. Lastly, all stars have the same size and brightness. Is it a fact? Or a fake? Type your final answer on the comment box. Yes, it's a fake. Not all stars have the same size and brightness. I mentioned the title of our lesson for today, and this is the characteristics of stars. I want you to join me and give light to some of the characteristics of the stars. First, I have some notes to learners before we begin our lesson. Number one, prepare your learning materials such as your module, notebook, and ball pen. Second, focus your attention on the ongoing live streaming lesson and write down some important facts. And lastly, participate with the discussion whenever requested by the live streaming teacher. Are you ready now? Let's move on. Now, at the end of the lesson for this morning, I encourage you to infer that the stars in the sky differ in size and are not in the same location as viewed from Earth. What do we mean by infer? It's like you are making a conclusion on an existing fact. How can we tell that you are preparing some inferring to an existing fact? Let me give you an example. For example, you have seen a few dark clouds on the horizon. What might 
you conclude? Yes, of course, you may conclude that a heavy rain might occur. So now you know what is meant by the word infer. All right. Let us define these words, which will be helpful on the lesson that we are going to undertake. First, let us define what stars are. Stars are massive ball of plasma that emits light throughout the universe. Yes, it might that you have not seen the star or our sun this way, but this is the actual appearance of the star at a closer look. Next is the light year. It is the distance light travels in one year. One light year is about 10 trillion kilometers. How can you imagine 10 trillion kilometers? It's like going to and from the moon 65,000 times. Okay? That's how far it is, the 10 trillion kilometers. Next is the luminosity. It is the amount of light that a star gives or can give. Okay, you can see that the single bright or the brightest star there is the one that is the most luminous star in the picture. Okay, we have defined a lot or we have defined some words. Now, we can proceed to our activity. Now, in this activity, we're going to demonstrate the relationship between the brightness and the distance of a star from the Earth. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I was the one who performed this activity. And this time, it's like I'm going to share to you the outcome of this activity. For now, we're going to have this material, the closed circuit set, the battery, bulb, and wire. Next is the long table. And lastly, the number cards for reference. Now, what are we going to do? Using these materials, we will be guided by the procedures that you will be seeing on the screen. Okay, first, we're going to place the pair of light bulb on a long table as seen on the photo. Make sure that they have the same location as suggested on the photo. Okay? You can see that the left and the right bulbs are positioned or located on the reference card number one. Okay? Next proce procedure is we're going to place the left bulb on location 2 as seen on the photo. Notice that the left bulb is moved a little farther or on the position or location number 2. Number 3, we're going to repeat the same procedure where the, late, the left light bulb is on location 3. Do you notice the, le the left bulb is almost on the edge of the table? Yes. Okay. Are we done? Not yet. This time, we're going to repeat all these procedures by switching the light off. Yes. We need to compare the two light bulbs in a dark room. Are you ready? All right, let's begin. So for the fourth procedure, we're going to perform procedures one to three with light switch off. Okay? Ta-da! Can you compare the brightness of the two light bulbs? Since they have in the same location, we can conclude that they have the same brightness. What if we move the left light bulb on 
reference card number two. Can you infer about the brightness of the light bulb? Let's take a look on this. Okay? Let us switch up the light. And there we have. Now, at this point, can you compare the brightness of the two light bulbs? Which one is actually the brighter? All right. I think you have a little idea of what is the effect of the location of the light bulbs when it comes to distance. Lastly, we move the left light bulb on the reference card number three. And when the light switch off, do you notice that the left light bulb's light is reduced in a distance? What can be your conclusion when the light of the light bulb is affected by the distance? All right. Let us discuss what we have actually observed. This is the first question. At what distance was the light bulb brightest? Is it near or far? Of course, you can say that the light bulb which is near to us is the brighter. Okay? Similarly, we see our sun as the brightest object in the sky because it is the nearest star to us. Okay? Next question. What affects the brightness of the light bulb? Is it the distance of the light bulb or the color of the light bulb? Of course, you may say that it is the distance of the light bulb. Actually, aside from the sun, there are three stars near our planet. We can call them as the Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri B, and Alpha Centauri A. Now, I'd like you to look at these three stars. Although the Proxima Centauri is the one nearer after the sun, but at the night sky, it is the Alpha Centauri A and the Alpha Centauri B are visible in the night sky. Last question. You notice that the light bulb's brightness is reduced or gets dimmer as it moves from position 1 to positions 2 and 3. What can you infer on the different brightness of the stars? Yes. Stars have different locations from the Earth. Stars don't, don't have the same distance as we often think. Okay, so different brightness of the stars means different locations and of course, sizes. Okay, I hope all your inferring has been answered after we have answered all these three questions. Now, now how can we apply what we have learned in this lesson? Actually, scientists group the stars by identifying their locations and brightness. They use the word constellation to refer to group of patterns of stars. Are you not wondering when, when you look upon the sky or a night sky and you try to see group of stars and then relate them in some objects? Yes, you are actually seeing a particular constellation. Now, let us sum up the main concepts of this lesson. And for this summary, I want you to choose the correct words from the box below to complete the paragraph. Okay, I want you to get the words from the box below and put them on the underline. 
Okay? Now, a star is a massive ball of blank that gives its own light. You can also type your answer on the comment box. Let's fill the underline. A star is a massive ball of plasma that gives its own light. Next sentence. Our blank is the nearest star to us and only star in our solar system. You can also make a guess. Yes, our sun is the nearest star to us and only star in our solar system. Next sentence. There are billions of billions of billions of stars throughout our blank. Yes, it's universe. Last sentence. A star can be grouped by basic characteristics such as color, size, blank, and blank. The answers are star can be grouped by basic characteristics such as color, size, distance, and brightness. Now that we have summarized all the important concepts for this lesson, we can now move on to our short quiz. Okay. This is the direction. I want you to write the correct letter on a separate sheet of paper near you. Number one, the stars that seem with the brightest light are the ones blank. A, far away from us. B, near to us. C, the same location. And D, different location. Number two, the sun is one of the stars. Why does it outshine all the stars as we see it from the earth during daytime? A, it is the hottest star. Letter B, stars differ in temperature. Letter C, stars differ in location. And letter D, all of the above. Number five, there are farther stars that give bright light while there are nearer stars that give less amount of light. What can you infer on this statement? A, stars have the same brightness and location. B, stars differ in brightness and location. And uh, letter C, the color of the stars tells its brightness. And letter D, clouds affect the brightness of the stars. All right, now we can reveal the answer for the short twist. Number one, the stars that seem with the brightest light are the ones near to us. Number one, it's letter B. Number two, the sun is one of the stars. Why does it outshine all the other stars as we see it from the earth during daytime? The correct answer is letter D. It is the nearest to the earth than all the other stars. Number three, why are the other stars seen to reduce its brightness as we see them? The answer is letter C, because they have great distance or light years from us. Four, one starry night, you observe that some stars are yellow and bluish white, while others are red in color. Which statements explain this observation? Yes, it's letter A. Stars differ in color. And for the last number, there are farther stars that give bright light while there are nearer stars that give less amount of light. What can you infer on this statement? 
The correct answer is letter B. Stars differ in brightness and location. All right. I think you have answered well for this short quiz. I hope after summarizing all those concepts, I am quite sure that you have actually applied them in this short quiz. Now, for the photos and videos that I have used for this lesson or presentation, allow me to give credits on the following websites. Okay, I hope after we finish this lesson, uh, you gain confidence and excitement as you join with me to give light on the characteristics of stars. Once again, this is Christian M. Soriano, your live streaming teacher. Once again, good morning.